hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i am going to be braiding my hair so i finally decided to go ahead and braid my hair it's getting a little bit longer now which is good so it's about this length now so i've decided to do box braids and the hair piece and the hair piece that i'm using is this darling one million ombre color this one is in number four and 27 so it's like a mixture of four and 27 and down here is 27 and i've got three of them so i'm thinking of doing box braids i normally use like three or two and a half when i do box braids and i think these ones are already like uh, fed that down here so i don't have to do that so yeah this is what i'm gonna use and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and start at the back and then i will catch up with you guys when i get to the front to show you how i'm braiding my hair so i am back now and it's at the end of day two it's actually <laughs> seven o'clock at night and this is how my braids are looking so beautiful it took longer than I expected <laughs> like my hair is ex actually still short like very very short but this is how they're looking and this is the back all done so I am left with this part here which I am going to show you guys how I've been doing my braids and this is the side so i did also leave out some of like my edges here so i can be able to like style them nicely and i don't really like pulling this hair with the braids and i also did the same on this side i'm also gonna do the same here so uh on the products what i've been using it's just adding a little bit of moisturizer like a little bit not a lot just so that my hair is moisturized uh I found that when I add a lot of product like gels and stuff, it was actually making it slippery because my hair is so short, like I said. So it was hard for me to grip my hair to braid. And so I just found that adding a little bit of moisturizer just to keep my hair moisturized. And the other product that I've been using is this um, Iso Plus Air Gel. I'm only using this on the edges. I didn't use it throughout my hair. I only use it for the edges um just the leave out that i'm leaving out the ones that i don't want to grab so i'm just pulling them with my um red tail comb and i'm applying this product so that they can like stay out of reach so that when i braid i don't accidentally grab them by mistake so i'm just laying them forward and then as for parting, I didn't do any like special parting. I didn't do lines. I've just been like parting like this and then making sure it's enough for a braid and then go ahead and braid it like, like so. And then once I'm done parting it, I just go ahead and comb it through a little bit so that there's no like tangles and everything is straight. So this is enough and i am left with half out of three um so i'm just taking like this much of the fiber and i'm gonna go ahead and start braiding my hair so since my hair is very very short i'm not doing like knotless i'm just doing like traditional braiding so grabbing my hair wrapping this once i'm not ripping twice so i like to wrap once so that it doesn't leave that um bulkiness of the fiber down on the bottom and then immediately i start separating the two strands to form three equal strands and i'm still making sure that i have my natural hair um in place like um i'm still grabbing my natural hair and i can feel it so that helps that uh, with the laying of the hair, especially if your hair is short like mine. Uh, it actually helps blending the hair easily. So as you can see, you can't really see. I mean, you can see because my hair is different color compared to the braids. And some of them, because I wasn't really using a mirror, especially back there, you can kind of see um, my hair poking out or like um, where it stops. But you can't really like tell directly. Um, and it's actually like laid nice which 
and this is also because of the moisturizer the moisturizer also helps it um stretch out in a way so i just continue braiding the braid until i get to the end And once I get to like the bottom, I'm not really like finishing it all the way. I'm leaving about three to four inches of the um, fiber that is not braided and I'm just leaving it like that. And I am moving to the next one. And again, I am just sectioning, making sure it's enough to form one braid. And then after that, I just take back my retail comb and then comb it through. To get rid of like any tangles you can sort of like twist it to put it in place so that it doesn't bounce back to the other um, hair and then I'm taking my fiber making sure it's equal and I'm taking my fiber and then go ahead and braid so wrapping it once and then use my natural hair as a braid and then immediately start separating these two to form three equal ones like so and then just continue braiding like here at the bottom i try to make it like as slow as possible so i can be able to conceal my hair with a fiber just making sure that it stays um sealed in between the fiber and then after that i just continue braiding until i get to my desired length and with um with darling one million it's not as long as like expression so if you're doing this with expression braiding hair i normally cut it in half because it's really really long i think it's about like 80 inches or something like that because it's really really long i cut it in half but if you are looking for like an ombre ombre effect that can't that um won't really work well for you unless if you're just doing it full length which is gonna be like all the way down to like your um legs but that's up to you if you want the like normal length ombre i would highly recommend the um darling one million so i'm just gonna continue doing the same on this hair here and you guys can just relax and watch
so i am done with my braids and this is how they are looking and they're not heavy like they are very very light so this is how they are looking all done I feel like even though I didn't do like the uh, traditional like parting with the lines, it still looks clean. So, yeah. So now I'm just going to go ahead and boil some water and dip them in hot water. This is how they are looking. Uh, once I'm done putting them in hot water, they look like this. So pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.